Well, hello YouTube, and today I thought, why don't I show you how to make this bulk mailer with Python to automate the boring stuff of bulk mailing. First of all, what we will do is we will uh, take an Excel sheet, and then in the column one we have all the emails, and in the column two we have all the names relative to the emails. So what we'll do is we'll uh, use Python to get all the values from column A store them and get all the values from column B and store them separately and then we will iterate through all the values and then send email to all the emails in the first array so let us do that so I'll recommend you go to your command your command prompt or terminal and then we need a module called openpy excel which is used to read excel files very commonly you can also use pandas but OpenPy Excel is more convenient for me, I think. So just go and run pip install OpenPy Excel. Okay, all right. Once you have that, just go to uh, Python Idle or whatever editor you have, and we need to import the modules first. So, so say import SMTPLA then import open pi excel as excel this will short out the name and we'll use namespace excel after that we have to get two things from uh, email dot mime so we'll say from email dot mime dot text import mime text and then we'll say from email dot mime dot multipath import mime multipath then we'll get the username and the password to login into the account from which we want to send the emails to all the emails we have we'll take that as input cause it's safer than storing it in a script so let's do that username equals str and it will change it to change it into string so we'll say str input your username <laughs> then the same step for the password so here we will have to say say password then here also password and now we'll have to set some variables first is from which will use the username and the second is subject which will set to test for now you can set it to whatever subject you want sent to and then we need to get the file excel spreadsheet so we'll say <coughs> wb equals excel dot load workbook and we need to get an absolute path now first we have to uh, say r here because that will change it into a raw string and it will ignore all the special characters such as these backslashes so we'll say emailer xlsx after that we need to get the sheet one from this workbook so we'll say sheet one equals wb dot get workbook by name so the name of the workbook is sheet 1 because th that's where our data is after we have got the workbook now we need to iterate through column A so we will say <coughs> for cell in sheet 1 now the column we have is A so that will loop through it we wanna get the value and append it to the names array we haven't defined the names array yet so let's define it so for that names equals empty array then emails equals another empty array so let us append it so we'll so we'll say emails dot append cell dot value that will append the value and we need to do the same step with the names so copy that 
and paste that then we need to get the values from column B so change it to B and then we need to append it to the names array now let us loop through all the values in the emails array we will say for I in range will provide the length of the emails array and before we do that what we have to do is we have to log in into the account using SMTP lib so we will say server equals SMTP lib dot SMTP now I'm using Gmail if you use Yahoo or something else you can do that here I'll say SMTP dot Gmail dot com after that we need to get it the port number now the port number for Gmail is 587 you can get your port number by googling it obviously and after that let's start the TLS so we'll say server dot start TLS this will start secure connection after that we need to login into the account using server dot login we'll use the username and the password now login is done after that we need to uh, create a my multipart object so we'll say message equals my multipart this will create the object after that we need to we need to provide it some variable so we'll say from equals uh, names and we'll give it the i names to the index of i after that we need to give it the two and we'll give it sorry in from we need we need to use username and in message we need to use names i sorry for that after that we need to give it subject so for that we'll use the subject variable And we need to give it the message so we'll say text equals now we need to use multi-line string set so we will use three quotes which make a multi-line text and now we'll say hello and these curly brackets are being used here as placeholders for whatever we provide it and this is called string a concatenation if you don't know sample message this is bulk mailing test and now let's concatenate it so for that we'll use the names i because that's that's why we set the names column in the first place oh and whatever you put put here in these brackets that gets inserted here wherever you you have the curly brackets first after that we need to attach it to the message multi to the multi part object so we'll say we'll say msg dot attach mime text and the text we want to attach it is text and we want it in plain text so we'll say plain after that we'll change it into a string so we'll say message equals msg dot string as string sorry This will change it into a string. After that, we can use it to send the email. So we'll say server dot send mail. This will send the email. 
for that we'll use username as the username and then uh, the two username which is the emails i and what we are gonna give it the text is message and i want to print out whoever i am sending the email to after it has been sent so i'll say mail sent to and then i will print out the mm, email so we'll say emails i and after the all the emails have been sent we have to we have to quit the server so we'll say server dot quit and we want to quit the server after that we will print out that all of the emails have been sent successfully so we will say print all emails sent successfully now let us run it apps and see if we have any typo that tends to happen with typing and talking talking at the same time so we have a typo there has to be sheet here so let us run it again here we go so i think it has sent it successfully now to check it let us go to the emails and verify them because all are my name emails so as you can see we have the email here so now let us check into the gmail and see if we have the email there also as you can see we have the email in gmail also so now we have a complete bulk mailer that can send email in bulk using this python script so i think that's it for this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel if you have any comments or questions just leave them below i'll take a look at them thank you for watching this video bye